Okay, so the first thing you do is add the table to ArcMap. Open it up, just make sure everything's formatted correctly. If you expand these, you can see that they're right justified, so that means it's a numeric column. Right click and go to Display XY Data. Make sure that the right fields are selected in X and Y field, and they are in this case. Click Edit, and then you're going to go and select the coordinate system. In this case, WGS84 is the likely, likely coordinate system, so we'll click OK there. Click OK, and that should place your points then into your map. Go and add a base map data set just to double check that they're in the right place. Takes a few seconds for this to load. Should come in in just a second. There it is. You turn on labels. You can just right click, and usually, if you just label features, it's pretty good at guessing what the label field is. So that looks okay. Now we're going to export this by going to data, export data. Make sure it's going to the right place. And that's the folder where the map document is saved. And so we'll just call this test shapefile. Make sure it's spelled right. Click Save. Click, o, uh, click OK. And yes, you want to bring that in. So now you've got a new layer called test shapefile. That's an actual file that you can do stuff with. If you go and uh, take a look at it, you can see this feature ID field indicates that you've got a, a real data set that can, can be analyzed and you can do overlay and stuff like that with it.